shaped into literally anything. Once you've mastered a few simple techniques, you can create hundreds of different designs. In this video, I'll teach you how to make some of the most basic fondant decorations, ribbons, bows, and coiled ribbon roses. The most basic fondant shape is a ribbon, which you can then use to create bows and ribbon roses. To make a ribbon, I'll begin by rolling the fondant to somewhere between an eighth and a quarter of an inch thick. Next I'll trim the ends of my fondant, and then gently lay a ruler on top of the fondant so that I can cut my line. You want to gently hold the ruler against the fondant. Don't press so hard that it makes an indent. Once you have your ribbon cut, pull away the excess fondant and move your ribbon onto your cake. This can seem like a really tricky part, but there's a little something that I do here that makes it easier. You roll the ribbon into a spool, and this will help you move the ribbon to your cake, keeping it nice and straight. Now that we've spooled our fondant, we'll place it against the cake and unroll the spool, turning the cake in the opposite direction. Trim your fondant where the ends meet. You can close your seam by rubbing on a little bit of shortening. To make a bow, we'll start by rolling a ribbon twice as long as you want your bow loop to be. Now I'll trim my fondant and cut the ribbon to the thickness that I want the bow to be. After I pull away the excess fondant, I'll cut the ribbon in half so that each one of these now will be one of my bow loops. To make a bow loop, I pick up the ribbon and gather one end, pinching it together. I'll repeat that on the other end. I'll repeat the same process with the second loop. To form the loops, you can wrap your ribbon loops around a dowel or a straw. This will help them hold their shape while they set up overnight. Fold the ribbon over the straw and pinch the ends together. Trim away any excess fondant. I'll repeat the same process with this loop. Set your loops aside and let them dry out overnight before using. Now that my bow loops are dry, I'm ready to place the bow on the cake. I'll remove the straws and roll a smaller ribbon, which will become the center of my bow. Cut this ribbon to the thickness that you'd like the knot of your bow to be. Take your new ribbon, flip it upside down, turn your bow loops upside down, and place them on top. Wrap your little ribbon around the center and trim away. And then press this bow center together so that everything stays intact. To apply your bow to your cake, place a little bit of buttercream where you want your bow to go. Lift the bow and place it directly onto your buttercream. You can also add some buttercream behind the loops just to make sure everything is really secure. Ribbon roses are a simple flower shape you can make with a basic ribbon. 
Start by folding your ribbon in half, bringing the seams together, taking care to leave this side open, not creating a hard crease. Next, you'll roll your ribbon up to create your simple rose shape. Tear the ribbon away and then pinch it together at the base. You'll have this leftover little tail. Just trim that away with a knife. You can also make a more ruffled ribbon rose by pinching the ribbon as you go. Finishing the same way we finished this rose. For smaller ribbon roses, you can attach them to the cake with a little bit of water or piping gel. But for larger roses, you should really use a dab of buttercream.